Ni sasa karibu kwa takriban dakika 30 ni kufahamisha taarifa kwa kina wanakwetu wananiita Joashon Sare mtafsiri kwenye lugha ishara ni Catherine Simaloi. Moja kwa moja ni kwamba baraza la makanisa nchini NCCK tawi la Nyanza limeonya serikali thidi ya kuwapuuza Wakenya na kuidhinisha miswada ambayo inaathiri mtindo wa maisha. Baraza hilo limewahutubia waandishi wa habari na kukariri kuwa ufisadi umekithiri na uenda likashinikiza wa Kenya kupuuza wajibu wao wa kulipa ushuru vile vile baraza hilo limeonya kuwa litafanya maombi ya kutangaza laana dhidi ya ufisadi nchini siku za hivi karibuni mwanahabari wetu Laban Shikokoti anatufungulia taarifa za upeo wa TV47 If people don't listen you force them to listen Wanachama wa baraza hilo wakiongozwa na maaskofu Clement Otieno, David Kodia, John Mark Howling Kodia na Charles Kigawa wamezungumza leo katika kanisa la kiangilikana katika jiji la Kisumu na kuikosoa serikali kuu kutokana na hali ya maisha nchini yakiwemo masaibo kwenye mamlaka mpya ya afya ya jamii ya sha kudororo kwa usalama katika eneo la Nyanza, mgomo katika vyo vikuu vile vile ulewa wa hudumu wa afya ambao huenda ukaanza hivi karibuni kulingana na taarifa ya muungano wa madaktari KMPDU. Security is another big threat to our nation at as at now. People are being killed. People are being maimed. Women are being killed. The state of insecurity in this country is already alarming. Enough for rapid action we propose that security services be devolved and country governments be directly in charge of security organs in their counties maskofao aidha wamewakashifu viongozi wa kisiasa akiwemo mwakilishi wa kike na naibu speaker wa bunge la kitaifa Gladys Boss Shole kwa kuadhalalisha maaskofu wa kanisa katoliki kwa kuikosoa serikali siku ya alhamis we take this opportunity to advise most more specifically honorable Gladys Chule and the other leaders with whom they have dared criticize the Catholic bishops that they should go slow on their attack on the Catholic bishops and the church leaders whenever we speak against corruption in this country honorable Chule must go slow on her chest thumping and boisterous utterances against the people she considers anti-government. Wameonya huenda wa Kenya wakakosa kulipa kodi kutokana na kukithiri kwa visa vya ufisadi. Wamehaidi kufanya maombi maalum kwa laani wote wanaofanya ufisadi. We may be forced to call for civil disobedience that might lead to refusal to pay taxes. Kuhusu mstakabali wa tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC NCCK imemtaka rais kueleza ni kwa nini hadi sasa tume hiyo bado haina makamishna wakati ambapo kuna hitajika uchaguzi katika baadhi ya maeneo nchini. Finally we demand an official statement from the president on the state of the appointment of the new IEBC commissioners. Kenyans cannot continue to be treated without an IEBC. A very con a very crucial um, constitutional a commission that need, needs to be operational many many constituencies do not have representation laban shikokoti tv47 kisumu